Hello, citizens of New Earth, and welcome to our hero spotlight on Amun-Ra, an explosive, aggressively played melee caster that laughs in the face of death and may be reborn from his ashes. Ra's first ability gives him vast mobility and damage output at a potentially severe cost. By spending 20% of his max HP, he creates a path of flames 600 units in front of himself, where a meteor lands, stunning and damaging those affected for one second. Ra regains 5% of his max health for each enemy hero that is hit by the meteor. He also regains another 5% of his health by hitting himself with it. This skill can be used effectively to escape from an incoming gank, or quickly pass through terrain and snag unsuspecting enemy heroes. Keep in mind that this skill can be very costly if you miss your targets, but if you aim it properly you should be able to regain most or all of the health you spent casting it. For this reason you should be careful not to waste it and unless you have immense health and regeneration items you should be casting it primarily as a follow-up to a stunner snare. Ra's second ability expends another 12% of his max health to deal an area effect burst that partially scales based on a percent of his max HP, and deals magic damage. This spell has a 1.5 second casting delay, but is not channeling, allowing you to focus on proper positioning. Units affected are hit with a tapering snare that wears off after 3 seconds. This skill does not have any healing properties, but is Ra's most reliable source of damage. Ra will most commonly be seen casting this immediately after getting into place with his Path of Destruction. This way he can speedily travel to the center of a bunch of heroes, using the stun duration as extra time to set up his second explosion. The results are devastating. His third ability, Ashes to Ashes, passively gives him health regeneration. It also increases his attack speed and deals damage around him based on how much damage he's taken recently. By hurting himself with his first and second skill, he can essentially set this off at will. All three of his normal abilities combo very nicely to deal massive amounts of area effect damage. By walking into his own meteor, Ra makes the blow of killing a wave of creeps less painful on his health pool. Ra's ultimate activates on death if he has more than 50% of his mana pool. Three seconds after dying, he is reborn from his corpse, triggering a cast of Ignite and dealing bonus damage from all of his skills and attacks for 10 seconds. Burning his mana can be an effective way to prevent this from triggering. With his ultimate off cooldown, Ra can play far more aggressively, expending his health in order to deal more damage even when very near death. Even though your spells cost a percent of your health, they are almost always worth using in an intense situation, just for the chance that you might survive. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll include a brief summary of a suggested item and skill builds in the video description. <laughs> Bask in my presence. Bask in my presence. Bask in my presence. Bask in my presence. Bask in my presence.